All right, good morning, everybody. Hope your Friday is off to a nice start. We're seeing some of that rainfall move into the valley, and eventually it's going to transition over to some wet snow. But, you know, temperatures are going to be at or above freezing while it's snowing out. So the snow is going to have a really hard time accumulating, especially in Greater Springfield, at least on roads, sidewalks, things of that nature. So more than likely roads as we go through the commute are going to be wet for your morning commute. Temperature now is 36. And notice the dew point is at 36 as well. The temp and the dew point are matching. Uh, you know, that's important because, if, you know, the temp sometimes can fall to the dew point as the moisture moves in. We have some room for cooling here. So with the dew point already at 36, we might only come down a couple of degrees. So that is going to have and cause the snow to have a difficult time sticking. It's going to really have to come down hard in order for it to stick, at least on the roadway. So we are seeing some sprinkles or some light rain in the valley right now. You get up into Greenfield, last check, they just had some pockets of drizzle, and uh, Matt in Northampton up in Hampshire County also reporting some drizzle there too. We are seeing some snow in Pittsfield and Worthington, but even notice across the hill towns, at least for now, it's having a hard time transitioning over. So it is going to take a while, and it's not like we're talking about a system that has a ton of moisture with it. It really is a burst of moisture this morning into the early afternoon. That's the game, and then after that, we're going to see things wind down. Now, having said that, National Weather Service has put out a winter weather advisory. Out of Albany, the National Weather Service, they have not put out an advisory for Berkshire County. And same deal for southern parts of New Hampshire. So this is going to be a borderline situation in terms of how much snow we end up getting. So we'll see that rain changing over to that wet snow. We're talking about maybe for a brief time it could come down moderate to heavy. And that's when we pick up some minor accumulations later this morning into the early afternoon. Roads, if anything, will be wet, perhaps slushy, and we're thinking maybe a coating to an inch or two in the lower valley, a little bit more across the hills and higher terrain. So we'll put the impact level at low, since most roads will be wet, and then the snow will wind down by about 2 or 3 o'clock, or snow mix with some of that cold rain, and then we'll start to dry things out. Let's check in with meteorologist Liam Murphy, who's live right now in Springfield. Good morning again, Liam. Yeah, good morning, Dan. Just a little while ago, I would say the rain intensity here in Springfield has picked up just a little bit, so it is a step above a drizzle. I would say a light shower right now. Now, as we push through the rest of the day today, we are going to be looking at a, ch a changeover into some wet snow. But I, like you mentioned earlier, the temperatures are staying above freezing, so I would say those temperature, or the changeover into snow will be a little difficult for especially the greater Springfield area. And as we mentioned, the hill towns are already starting to see a, a little bit of a struggle to transition into snow with temperatures above freezing. But as we push through the rest of the day today, we will be looking at the possible change for over uh, fully over to snow, especially as we get towards the middle port portions of the morning, like 9, 10 o'clock. And then we will be looking at temperatures once again still remaining above freezing. The snow will have a little bit of a struggle, as you mentioned, uh, sticking on the roadways, especially because those temperatures are warmer. But if it does come down in a bit of a uh, heavier snow band, we could see a quick little accumulation in some slushy roadways possible. But I would say any of the accumulation we do see, especially here in the greater Springfield area, it would be just on grassy surfaces. Now, as we get through the rest of the day today, especially if we push towards 11, 12 o'clock, we could see the change over to all snow for most of Western Mass. And then going through the early afternoon and into the middle afternoon, we will We'll see those snow showers taper off, but it, once again, it, those temperatures will be above have a hard time sticking to the area. So it could be snowing constantly, but it will have a harder time sticking to the ground. But then after we get towards the afternoon, it does look like it will dry out. We'll stay with mostly cloudy skies throughout the uh, evening and into the overnight. Temperatures will slowly fall down into the lower to middle 30s, and then we get into the possible upper 20s as we get into the hill towns as we head out the door tomorrow morning. Now, as we mentioned, Dan, we are looking at possibly a coating to two inches of snow at the high end in the greater Springfield area with one to three inches in the hill towns. But the good news is we are looking at some dry weather coming in as well as some sunshine, especially as we get towards the weekend and into next week for probably the first time in a while that we've seen the sun. You know, Liam, that's absolutely right. In fact, I think we're going to see the dry weather coming in for the evening commute. So bottom line, this morning's commute roads will probably be wet in the valley and then the evening commute roads are going to be dry. So this, uh, again, is low end in terms of impact, but nevertheless, we haven't had much snow so far this season, so some of us are going to have to deal with that. But as you can see, this area of moisture is not that widespread. It extends from Albany down across the Hudson River Valley, but this is expanding and it's going to take its time. So it's going to take all morning and into the afternoon before finally it'll shift off to the east. We actually have an area of low pressure that is strengthening while it's moving across, but then it moves out later on and behind it we will get that drier air moving in. Tomorrow still mostly cloudy, but at least some sun and for Sunday a return to sunshine. Temperatures over the weekend not bad either. Readings will be running above normal. High today 36, high tomorrow 
lower 40s. Keep in mind, normal highs now should be in the uh, mid 30s and will be a little cooler on Sunday. Certainly a colder morning on Sunday, but we should have a lot of sunshine around with highs topping off in the upper 30s. In fact, tomorrow we'll have a high of 42, 45 in Hartford. So any accumulation we get will be melting away with some sun and a lot of clouds. I think it is a brighter day on Sunday, but it will probably end up about four or five degrees cooler. Upper 30s in the valley, mid 30s across the hill towns. Hartford about 40, Boston about 36 or 7 degrees. Our next system comes in here, your next weather maker. That will come in on Monday with perhaps some rain and snow showers. This still looks like it's going to be on the weak side. It will track to our south. Temperatures will be borderline, so that too does not look like it's going to be a major deal for us. For your Monday, we'll watch it, but right now it just looks like minimal moisture with it and temperatures again are borderline. A lot of clouds around on Monday, a little brighter for Tuesday, back into the lower 40s. And it does look colder the middle of next week. We'll be back into the mid 30s. No big storms indicated next week at this point. No deep Arctic cold either. All right, another check of the forecast in a few minutes.